Chick Scott wrote, uh, wrote a book about Hans Moser who invented heli skiing basically, right? Yeah. And uh, Hans Moser, before he did the heli skiing, he was making movies, kind of like the Warren Miller type movies, right? And, showing them. and, and so they, this book includes a DVD with three of the movies on it. And they're skiing away on stuff that I skied on at, at, uh, in Yoho Park last year. And we, we were roped up and stuff. They're merrily going up, down, skiing all over the place, not roped up. They don't even, that's, this is like in the 50s, right? What do you mean roped up, like you're actually roped to each other? If you're, if you're normally, nowadays, if you cross a glacier, you tend to go in a group and mm -hmm. you're all roped up. And so if one person goes in, the others can, well, other can A, secure them and, and help get them out, right? And so there's a whole crevasse rescue course that you can take talks about different ways of getting people out depending on whether they're conscious or not or able or not and stuff like that. But these guys are just doing it all like, you know, just totally carefree. And I don't know whether, you know, he, th those are the days that he's taking the pictures, of course, are the ones with good visibility and, and, and they've been there. I'd like to get um, some names of some of your favorite easy trail. Sure. So, my, uh, my boyfriend just quit smoking, so I don't want to <laughs> bite off more than he can chew. The area like you have to go in there. But it's a very good place. Right. I told you really if I could just one favorite. Yeah, that's good. So it's like Because they didn't have, I looked at Mac and they didn't have. Yeah, they only had a couple of pairs left. Oh, yeah. yeah, and large is really, like I use medium. Well, normally I would have thought that I'm a medium, but I ended up getting the smalls. Yeah, yeah I, I took I, my hiking boots out to try them on. Yeah, that's what I, exactly what I've told people to do. Yeah, because so, it's, it's totally different than your city shoes. Yeah, and they do have on the website, they talk about if you, you need. So I would need a large if I had it for my snowshoeing boots, right? I, yeah. You know, if you had a big pair of muscles, yeah, like like so else. Sure. Yeah. By icers, you mean the Lee Valley icers? Um, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, especially in deeper snow, I found this was too much. Yeah. I think it's a track over there. 
Yeah, yeah, I just came here to feel. Yeah, it's a good spot for a picture. So, Carl, is it uh, the Rimol? No, that, the big one is... is uh, big Sister. Big Sister, and then Rimwall is, should be this one. When I said ship's prow's on the other side, Rimwall is, I think, this one that's... It's not one, one, the one we see right from Big Sister. What would that be? Wind Tower? It's no Wind Tower, is it? Wind Tower was for. The, I pointed that out when we started off. On the yeah. Oh, I see a. I see a cairn. Cairn over there. So that must be the part of the trail. Boy, I wish I had this quiet in my home <laughs> where I live. <laughs> Would have been nice. <laughs> and and the fresh air. <laughs> and the view? Well, the view, yeah, the view. You gotta work for it. <laughs> since I had some rentals rent next door, pretty young crowd. They'd be sitting there sitting out on the back of their deck still talking and I'm on my way out to a hike at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So I bend the windows in the back so I could hear and they, they weren't being loud, they're just talking, right? But I could hear them all night. Well it's a, it's a big valley to see some wildlife, if if there is something, if we should see it. It's kind of actually there is no escape on that side for sure. It's all blocked, so it's kind of animals like to have an escape route on at least a couple of sides. Oh yeah, I see the glacier. Right on. You see, guys, the glacier? Yeah. Wow. Crevasse. Or Berstrung, or what it's called. It's a little different from hiking in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is, but she, she went to Peru.
beautiful place, no? Huh? You like this place? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I like when I'm surrounded by big uh, rocks. Immense. I mean, this looks very, very uh, like uh, it resembles, you know, that uh, ice, what is it called, the six glaciers? No? It looks like the French glacier. Yeah. No, I it's never. the same geography. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that one. Oh, you mean like by the French Creek? Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you go, yeah, it's a ski tour to go up the French. Yeah. Across the lake and down. Oh, I don't know there's a glacier there. No, but it is so isolated and it's so narrow. It's yeah. very nice, man. That's my favorite. That's similar with the uh, edit pass, you know? Yeah. Isn't it? Does it resemble? Uh, I haven't been to Edith Pass in 20 years, so... Oh. Okay, you can start going. I'm gonna film when you leave. And I'll follow you. No, no, I'll film you when you make a few steps and then... To get a perspective of the size, eh? You need a person, you know? So I think it is a glacier all the way, actually. When we saw the ice, it's part of the glacier. Yeah. It's just the last part. Because it's glacier over there. Where you see the, the rocks just fell on the top of the glacier, no?
So when you climb up, you kind of climb, you park the same that spot there, and then you just climb up. But then, in fact, the time I did it, it was the end of May, and it was like bone dry. And then we get to that first where you have to drop down the first knot, and it's like, holy shit, right? It's like this, this crevice that's a scramble, a difficult scramble. It's all full of snow, and down below, it just drops down both ways. Like, so if you slid down, you'd be toast. Right, and it was just, I mean, it was totally, you know, so, so you got all the way up there. Oh, no, that's a and then, <laughs> and then the it's hard right. to turn around, but you should stop. So again, do you know the names again? Zeton? This, this is Big Sister. Yeah. And this is Rimwall over there. The next There's one? There's no name for that one. Oh, no name. It doesn't have a name. No, that's like that's that. Rimwall. And then in the sun is... So the rim was the highest point yeah. of uh, Sarpon, yeah. right? And then the next one that's really bright. How, how you climb, how you go I, from here? You go from West Wind Pass Trail. From there. And then, so that's in between those two. So yeah. what's the next one? And the next one is Wind Tower. Is that very sharp? Yeah, very sharp one, yeah. And that's an easy scramble. And then the next is the first peak of Mount Lougheed. Yeah, and that's a one. very difficult. You, you, you said a different version. Yeah. Um, and then the next is uh, Sparrow. And the, in the back behind the road there is probably Buller, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh. Excellent. I got them all now. Hard to believe that they would say we I'm sure that's like they ended up going. We, we had some spots up in the pot there. Where it was yeah. There are a whole bunch of mountains back there. I don't know if you know those. <laughs> Do you know any of those? Uh, no. Uh, no, you don't see them from there. No, the far distance, I'd, I'd have to pay attention as we're going out. Uh huh. I'm not sure though. So this one, this one next. Whoa, what is? That's a little sister, or no? That's uh, that's uh, Windridge. No, no, uh, Mount Rundle. <laughs> that's also harder. Oh, Rundle. Right, we're gonna go out and then turn.